What's going on guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Jim McCann singing a song called Grace. This is the lyrics and the backstory, so I'm guessing this is a true story of some sort. And from what I understand, based off of the description, this is actually also a group uh, called the Dubliners that Jim McCann is, I guess, the lead singer of. From what I understand, Jim McCann was an Irish uh, musician and singer from Dublin, and uh, beyond that, I really don't know much of anything about him or the Dubliners, um, but this video has been recommended quite often in certain videos uh, every once in a while, and um, so I thought I'd finally check it out uh, because a lot of people have recommended that I uh, check out the song. So anyways, guys, enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and check out Jim McCann and the Dubliners singing a song called Grace. Uh, Grace was a woman called Grace Gifford and Grace Gifford was the childhood sweetheart and for a very short time the wife of a man called Joseph Mary Plunkett. Now Joseph Mary Plunkett was a poet and a patriot. He was the youngest of the signatories of the proclamation in 1916 and as one of the signatories of course he was sentenced to death along mm -hmm. with the other rebels and he was shot in Kilmainham jail here in Dublin on the 4th of May 1916 in the early hours of the morning and uh, a couple of hours before he was shot Grace Gifford and a priest were brought into Kilmainham and in the little chapel inside there Joseph Plunkett and Grace got married they were allowed about 15 minutes together under supervision oh, after wow. the ceremony and that was all that 15 minutes was all the married life they had together that was it if you ever visit Kilmainham Jail, which is something I highly recommend, everybody does at least once, there's a little plaque to the right of the altar as you look at it, commemorating this wedding. And uh, even though she was so young when all this happened, Grace never remarried. And she died in 1969, living with two other old ladies in Ranela in Dublin. That's how close we are to that bit of history. Thanks very much for listening to the story, folks. For those who that's so sad, man. Wow. All right. So, all right, let's just continue. Wow. I wanted to hear the song. Here it is. Grace. <laughs> As we gather in the chapel here in old Kilmainham jail I think about these past few weeks Oh will they say we failed from our school days They have told us we must yearn for liberty Yet all I want in this dark place is to have you here with me oh grace just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger they'll take me out at dawn and i will die with Place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye. Now I know it's hard for you, my love, to ever understand the love I bear. For these brave men My love for this dear land But when Parik Called me to his side Down in the GPO I had to leave My homesick bed To him I had to go Sing it with me if you know it A grace just told Take me out at dawn and I will die With all my love I'll place this wedding ring upon your finger There 
won't be time to share our love for we must say goodbye now as the dawn is breaking my heart is breaking too on this May morn as I walk out my thoughts will be of you and I'll write some words upon the wall so everyone will know I loved so much that I could see his blood upon the roads Wow. That was a really, really powerful song. That's such a sad story. So they were married 15 minutes. And then, wow. I don't even know what to say, guys, really. Let's, I don't even know what to say. It's just, uh, that was so sad, but um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful tribute to um, Grace. It's a beautiful tribute to him. It's a beautiful tribute to their relationship. Um, in a way, it's a beautiful tri tribute to you know, patriotism. He was a patriot. Um, yeah. But I love this type of music. Um, I don't hear enough of it. You know, this, I, I guess in the States we would call this folk music. And I think you guys in Ireland would probably call this folk music as well. I think I read that he was a folk singer. Um, I don't know if that's all he did, um, Jim McCann, but, um, this is what that sounded like to me. It sounded like um, a folk music, folk music, folk song. Um, and I thought this was really beautiful. And I just, I just love that sound. I love that. It's, 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 it's simple. I love the simple, simple sound of this. And it's just, you know, I, I, it's amazing that someone actually wrote a song about her. Um, you know, I, was that Jim McCann that wrote the song? Um, or was it somebody else? And I wonder wonder what I wonder what was the reasoning behind them writing the song was it just because they heard the story of grace and they just they just uh you know thought it was a beautiful story sad story you know sad and beautiful at the same time so it's, it's sad because of the fact that you know he he died and it's sad that you know she only got to marry, be married to the love of her life for 15 minutes. But it's also, it's also beautiful that uh, they were able to get married for 15 minutes. It's beautiful that she, she stayed. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's beautiful and sad. That's all I can say about it. It's just, this is one of those songs that I'm going to be thinking about for quite a while. It's just, it's just, uh, it's hard to express the song is just, it's, it's just really, it's really moving. Um, you know, almost made me tear up, but, um, you know, I was able to keep my composure through that. But um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me in my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys. Peace.